This lesson is on the average rate of change of a function from x sub 1 to x sub 2. The average rate formula is really the slope formula, and it's f of x sub 2 minus f of x sub 1 divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. It's a lot like your slope, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And the difference is you're going to be given the function. So for example, f of x is equal to x squared minus 2x. And you're going to be given a starting x sub 1 and an ending x sub 2. Now before you can use this formula, you also need to compute f of x sub 1 which in our case is f of 3. And you also then need to compute f of x sub 2. But we'll do x sub 1 first. You plug the number 3 into the formula. So it's 3. You took out the x, put in the number 3. And do the same thing here. And then use order of operations to compute. So 9 minus 6 turns out to be 3. To do f of x sub 2, the same idea, plug in the number 4 now, in for x, and simplify it. So 4 squared minus 2 times 4, or 16 minus 8. So you had to compute your y values before you could find this rate of change, or this slope. The average rate of change then is f of x sub 2, which is the number 8, minus f of x sub 1, which is the number 3, divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So you end up with 5 over 1, or 5, as your average rate of change. And we're going to try one more of these. And then these problems are the ones that are found in the back of your book um, on page 238. So here's another example, and this is question number 18 out of your book on, again, page 238. So the function now is the square root function, and we have a starting point at 9 and an ending point x sub 2 at 16. So before we use the formula, and again, you may want to write this down every time you use it so that you get it memorized because it's not going to be given to you on an exam. You need f of x sub 2. So we come up here, f of x sub 1 and f of x sub 2. x sub 1 is f of 9. Put the 9 into the square root function and the square root of 9 is 3. Do the same thing with f of x sub 2 f of x sub 2 is really f of 16. Go to the f function, take out the x's, and then put in the number 16 in its place. And the square root of 16 is 4. So now you have all the pieces to this little puzzle here. f of x sub 2 is 4, minus f of x sub 1 is 3, divided by x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So this one turns out to be 1 over 7. Okay, And again, these are on page 238, the very back of the book. And go ahead and try some of these now at this point.